I'm Paul Bryan of the GE Customer Technical Education Center here in Cincinnati, Ohio. And I'm Brian O'Day. And on this CFM Maintenance Minute, we're going to be taking a look at the installation procedure of a CFM 56-7B rear spinner cone. This fan rear spinner cone has been removed. When it came off the engine fan disc, the fan retaining flange was installed to the rear spinner cone. In some cases, the retaining ring flange will still be installed onto the fan disc and can be removed by hand. For the purposes of this video, we're going to show the installation procedure of the retaining ring flange separate from the rear spinner cone. To remove the fan retaining ring flange from the rear spinner cone, install jack screws in the applicable locations. And use the jack screws to remove the retaining ring flange from the rear spinner cone. If the fan retaining ring flange becomes separated from the rear spinner cone during its removal, simply remove it by hand. Before reinstallation of the fan retaining ring flange, lubricate the fan retaining ring flange aft pins with the approved aircraft maintenance manual lubricant. The fan disc number one blade position is indicated with a spherical identification mark and offset hole on the fan disc. Now install three equally spaced guide pins, one at the offset hole. For installation of the fan retaining ring flange, identify the spherical identification mark and offset hole and align this with the fan disc spherical identification mark. Install the fan retaining ring flange over the fan disc guide pins. For our next step, we're going to go ahead and lubricate the 12 rear cone bolts. Then we're going to take a heat gun and heat the rear cone aft flange diameter to a temperature specified in the aircraft maintenance manual before installation. After heating of the rear cone flange, validate the correct temperature as specified in the aircraft maintenance manual is reached with a thermocouple. Now that the guide pins have been installed, identify the number one position on the rear spinner cone with the number one position on the fan retaining ring flange and install the rear spinner cone over the guide pins. Once the rear spinner cone is installed, install nine bolts and washers. Secure nine bolts and washers in a crisscross pattern. After installation of the nine bolts and washers, go ahead and remove the spinner guide pins. Now install the remaining three bolts and washers. After installation of the 12 bolts and washers, go ahead and apply the applicable torque value as specified in the aircraft maintenance manual in a crisscross pattern. After security of the rear spinner cone, we're going to do a clearance check at six locations using feeler gauge. At the aft edge rear cone and the inner fan platform. Verify the proper gap for the aircraft maintenance manual specifications. We're now going to do an aircraft maintenance manual prescribed seating check between the fan disc and the fan retaining ring flange and a seating check between the fan retaining ring flange and the rear spinner cone seating surface. After security and installation of the rear spinner cone, go ahead and follow a similar aircraft maintenance manual procedure for the installation of the forward spinner cone. We'll finish torque of the forward spinner cone. 
check seating, a complete aircraft maintenance manual, specified repair confirmation procedures, and return it to service. That completes this CFM maintenance minute on the installation of the CFM 56-7B rear spinner cone. For all you do to support our fleet, thank you.